What's up guys? Here we are back in our CT660. Um, we're gonna be doing some more hauling today. <clears throat> uh, I have a little bit different piece of equipment that we're gonna be using. Uh, we're gonna be hauling uh, up to the mountains. Hopefully it will fit on our trailer. coming in hot. Anyways, it is the uh, Scorpion. Go ahead and detach our low loader. Uh, drop our steering axle. I um, also have a 35 foot Macdon and um, the 536 Roadrunner here. Anyways, this is uh, pretty much the uh, in game. Um, I exported and made just a few changes. Uh, uh, for example, you can see the cutter length here. Um, And then um, we turn this thing sideways and bring it up. Um, you'll be able to see that we can tip it down, um, which is useful if you want to basically um, pick up stuff again. And then if you bring it um, over, it's also... Uh, has a grapple function scripted in so you can pick up and move logs because as far as I know the in-game um, one doesn't allow you to do that which I think is a bit of a waste wasted function um, also um, I added shadow cast shadow mapping to the lights just for a little bit better um, visual. Um, and that's about it. A little bit um, faster too. But other than that, it's the in-game. Elected to go with the tracks on our machine. Seems to fit pretty well. Um, one thing I am excited about is this um, this Thursday. I will be getting some joysticks. I bought two joysticks, uh, a pair of Logitechs. Uh, so I'm excited to use those because this keyboard and mouse isn't really cutting it. It's also going to make the front loader functions a little bit. Um, easier, I think. Anyways, uh, we're going to head up to the mountains with this. Um, I can't go on the left side because I believe this won't fit underneath that overpass. So we have to kind of go the long scenic route, which is pretty much what the whole video is about. Also added a calf suspension to this truck so you can see it kind of moving around. Uh, the cab will move around and the seat will move up and down. Uh, I believe it's scripted to, you know, react to the suspension.
the downside to this map is all the good lumber, you know, quantity wise, where you could set up shop and really hammer out, um, is, you know, once you clear out all the, the trees, all the timber, there's, the land isn't usable for any kind of agriculture, so. kind of disappointing thirty five miles an hour in this area for whatever reason. Got a pretty large hill coming up. Definitely gonna be crawling up this hill. Stuck behind some traffic here. Bear Crossing, I've actually never seen a bear in this game. Uh, I remember in 15 that uh, the other map had uh, Moose Crossing, and you would um, see a moose, a black moose, kind of go across the road. We're losing steam coming up this hill. I believe this is where we're trying to turn into. See the tires deform a little bit. I figure this is probably one of the better spots to start logging. Mm, I think we're gonna have to put on the diffs. We made it! I'm not really sure how what our gross weight is with this thing. Uh, really pulls a lot harder than uh, when it's just loaded up with the combine. I think we'll knock our um, cutter width down to like, uh, say 12. I'm not exactly sure the size that would fit into a, uh, actually, Let's leave it at 16. I'm not exactly sure what would fits inside the railroad cars. But we will find out, I guess. Definitely excited to get um, those.
those joysticks, I think it's going to be much more enjoyable to do logging. And it was like 80 bucks for two of them. And they all have very good reviews, so... Cutting 16 uh, meters here. Seems to be like a decent length for a full truck. I'm assuming that was a uh, 40 footer we just took down. I feel like that would go on a semi truck. slap on our pile. Alright, so we'll take out really hard to see. I can grab onto this, use the grapple function to move this over to the pile. We shall see. So we're over the log now. We should be able to grab it. There we go. Yeah, that works pretty good. Able yeah, well, to grab on and move things around as you want. Um, those are some pretty big timbers. I think those would be too big for uh, the actual train. I think train was probably closer to maybe 12 meters. That's probably what we want to cut these at. Um, anyways, a uh, short little heavy haul video and a little introduction to some uh, forestry. Hopefully this Thursday I have my joysticks um, hooked up and inputs all mapped and then I can uh, do a little bit more enjoyable video. That's really what uh, prompted me to uh, get them. Is I've never had joysticks before but I've seen a few videos of people running dual joysticks and how how nice and fluid and actually enjoyable it looks like. 
uh, doing uh, forestry. So look forward to that this Thursday, Friday. So thanks for watching.